Hey everyone, how's it going today? Welcome to my Friday Power Flow. I'm Heather and I'm the Bent Yogi. And really, welcome to our Friday Power Flow, a 30 minute practice. A 30 minute practice. What do you say? Let's get started. Come on to your mat and come on into your downward facing leg. And as you come onto your mat and come into your child's pose, couple of good deep breaths. Start to warm up and loosen up. I've got my space heater going this morning. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. A really big inhale fill up and a big exhale empty out. And you can have your hands and arms extended forward with your knees wide. Or you can work with your knees together and your arms and hands alongside. Really nice here to let your head land on your mat or maybe on a prop. Let your shoulders soften a bit. And notice if you can, well, notice if you can let yourself be here. There's a lot of stuff going on in your life, if there's a lot of stuff going on in your head. Notice if you can bring your attention to your breath. Once more here, we'll take a big breath in and a long breath out. And go ahead and take your hands a little more forward, tuck your toes under, lift your hips and come on into your downward facing dog. You can take more time in child's pose. Either here now in place of your downward dog or at any point during your practice. And you can, you can allow yourself to be here. You can bring your attention to your breath. That's maybe the most challenging piece of the whole practice. The asanas, the poses are challenging, but bringing your attention back, right? Staying here, that's probably more challenging. Right? So give yourself some credit for showing up, for getting on your mat this morning. If you want to add in some movement, you can walk out your dog, maybe move your hips or your head around a little bit. And again, waking up, loosening up. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Feel each of your fingers on your mat. And notice if you can feel the space between your fingers. That's part of what we're looking for here, right, is some space, noticing the space, not just between our fingers, space between our toes, and probably most important, the space between our thoughts, so we can be in this space right here, right now. Take another deep breath in here, and as you exhale lightly, step or jump to the front of your mat. Set your feet, soften your knees, and come on up to stand. Reach your hands high, lift your heart, you can look up, go back. Take a big inhale, and as you exhale, draw your hands to your heart. Set your gaze here, lower your gaze or close your eyes, pause for a moment. And set an intention, if that's something that resonates with you. And together, let's take a big breath in, and a long breath out. And then your inhale, sweep up, reach up, lift up, fold forward, exhale. Find your halfway lift, your flat back. Bring your hands to your mat. Step back to your high push-up, high plank. You can have your knees lifted or lowered. Again, fingers spread wide here. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, move forward and halfway down or all the way down for your low push-up. Upward facing dog. Big breath in, maybe a cobra or a low cobra variation. And as you exhale, back to your downward dog or add in your child's pose. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. A big inhale and a big exhale. Once more, take a deep breath in here, fill up. And as you exhale, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, flat back, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale. Rise up, lift up, reach up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, 
Chaturanga, low push up. You can step or jump back. Upward dog, take a full breath in. Lead with your heart back to your downward facing dog. Set your hands and set your feet. You can let your heels soften. Someone asked me about this the other day. Do your heels have to touch your mat? No, your heels don't have to touch your mat. But you can also feel the difference between holding your heels up to lift your hips. Just letting your heels soften down, but keeping your hips lifted, right? So the little ways that you can soften to the pose and to the practice. Right? Less unnecessary tension. Take another big breath in here. Exhale. Walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale all the way up to stand. Hands high. Heart lifts. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Upward dog. Take a big breath in. Downward dog. Breath out. Take a long inhale. And a big exhale. A deep breath in. And a long breath out. Once more. Big inhale. Exhale. Step or jump forward. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Once more. Inhale all the way up to stand. From the ground lift up. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. Fold forward. Exhale. Now Utkatasana. Chair pose. Set your feet. Put a big bend to your knees. Let the weight of your body come a little more in your heels. You can kind of feel that out. Play around with it. Maybe shift forward and back a little bit. And then settle down into your heels. Settle your hips down and back. Right to left as well, right? So you feel an even press through your feet, through your right foot, through your left foot. You can feel your toes, but you don't have to hang on. Take one more big inhale here. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take a big breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Right foot steps forward, warrior one, Virabhadrasana. Set your feet, rise up, reach your hands higher, work with your hands at your heart. Check in with your foundation. Maybe wiggle your toes a little bit. One of the, one of the bonuses of yoga. You can move your toes around, wiggle around a little bit. Right, loosen up and open up. Feel your breath, take a big inhale. And a big exhale. And take one more deep breath in here. Exhale, hands down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Right foot again, warrior one, one breath. Set up, rise up, reach up. Exhale, hands come down. Chaturanga, low push up. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Left foot steps now, warrior one. Come up, pause, just for a breath or two on this side. Feel it out here, front foot flat and straight. Back toes point a little bit forward. You can even out your hips if there's room. Left hip back and right hip forward. Right? And let your breath be even. So you don't have to force it or push it. But just take some time with it. A big breath in. And a long breath out. And breathe in. And breathe out. And take one more deep inhale here. Exhale, hands to your mat. I push up to low push up. Upward dog, breathe in. Downward dog, breathe out. Left foot again, warrior one. Set up, rise up. Exhale, hands come back to your mat. Chaturanga, low push up. Upward dog, take a full inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Take a deep breath in. And a breath out. Ah. Another big inhale here. And as you exhale, step or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit down, lift up, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Right foot steps, warrior one, Virabhadrasana, rise up. Exhale, hands to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, breathe in. Downward dog, breathe out. Left foot steps, warrior one. Set your feet, rise up. Exhale, hands come back to your mat. 
Chaturanga, low push up. Upward dog, take your breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Take a couple breaths here in your downward dog or in your child's pose. Let your head hang. Soften your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And once more, breathe in here. Exhale. Walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Utkatasana. Sit down. Lift up. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Right foot steps. Warrior one. Come up. And add in your warrior two. Take your feet a little farther apart. Lengthen out through your arms. Lengthen up through your spine, from your tailbone, right up to the crown of your head. And take a long breath in. And a long breath out. Keep the bend in your front knee. Spin your palms to the sky. And take your right hand high. Reverse your warrior. Reach up and go back. Left hand can be at the back leg or your low back or even around to the top of your right leg. Take a big inhale here. Exhale. Hands down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog. Inhale. Downward dog. Exhale. Right foot again. Warrior one. Come up. Open out, warrior two. Take your right hand high, reverse. Side angle, Parsva Konasana. Bring your right elbow lightly to your right leg. Reach your left arm up to the sky. And if you want to slide your right hand down, inside or outside your front foot, you can. Keep the space in the front of your body. Open heart. And extend your top arm forward. Let your left shoulder roll back. You can use the bottom hand down or your right elbow on your right leg for support, but lighten up a little bit. And take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Breathe in and breathe out. Soften your toes, maybe wiggle them around a little bit. Feel an even press through your front foot, your back foot, right and left. Reach your top arm up and wrap it around behind your back. Come on into your half bind or your full bind. Notice if your right knee rolls in, bring it out to the right just a bit. Stay connected to the baby toe side of your back foot so your back leg is long and strong. So you're supporting yourself here. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Reach your top arm up. Let it bring you up to your warrior two. Take your right hand high, reverse your warrior. Now half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Push off with the back foot, tip forward. Let your right hand reach down for the ground. You can bring the ground up to you, putting a prop like a block or a water bottle under your hand. You can lift your left hand high. You can take your gaze up. You can also work with your left hand on your left hip. Lift through your right leg. Press up through your left heel. Take a really big inhale. Lightly drop back to your warrior two. Land softly. Take your right hand high reverse. Exhale, hands down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, take a big breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Take a big inhale. And a long exhale. <sighs> Another deep breath in here, fill up. Exhale lightly, walk or jump to the front. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Set your feet, big bend to your knees. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a big inhale here and twist to your left. Right elbow towards the outside of your left leg. Tailbone back. Crown the head, collarbones forward. Nice long spine here. Again, wiggle your toes a little bit. Feel your hands connect and you can keep your hands together or you can open up. Right hand reaching for the ground. Left arm reaching up for the sky. Maybe a stick in a side crow. Take a breath in and a breath out. One more big inhale, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, high push up to low push up, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps again, warrior one, come up. 
open out to your warrior two, straighten your right leg, and come on into your triangle, Trikonasana. Reach forward with your right hand, and then extend the right hand, right arm down. You can extend your left arm up, extend it through your legs and your spine, and really extend your breath out to the tips of your fingers, out to the tips of your toes. Any of the tight spots in your body, so you are making some space in your body, in your heart, in your mind, allowing, allowing some space for yourself. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. And breathe in and breathe out. Here, ground through your feet, rise to stand. Come on up, pivot your toes towards the side edge of your mat. You can have your feet parallel or pigeon toed. Interlace your fingers at your low back, maybe a towel or strap between your hands to give yourself some room. Let your shoulders roll back, lift your heart, take a big inhale, and as you exhale, fold forward. Hands come up and over, you can drop your head here, maybe soften your knees, again, check in with your toes so you're not hanging on. I find that if I check in with my toes, keep checking with my toes, right? then it's a reminder to not just check in with my toes, but check in with other places in my body where I'm hanging on and just check in with my thinking mind. I keep my attention on my breath. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. One more deep breath in here. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to your mat, hands under your shoulders. Come halfway up here, pivot around towards the back edge of your mat. Left toes point forward. Plant your hands, step your left foot back, High push-up to low push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Come on forward to your high push-up, high plank. Left hand under your left shoulder. Heels to your left for side plank vashtistasana. Right, strong through your core, press out through your heels. You can drop your bottom if you like. Here, extend your top arm forward and lift your right leg. Right, so you can drop your bottom knee for this. Take a big inhale. Now as you exhale, your right elbow and your right knee come together or close to touch. Extend out, press to the heel and reach. Exhale, elbow and knee come together. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeeze in. One more time. Inhale, extend, pause. Right hand, right foot down. High push up to low push up. Upward dog, a big breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Take a really big inhale. And a big exhale. Ah. One more deep breath in here. And as you exhale, step or jump to your hands. Halfway lift. Inhale, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit down, reach up. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up. Exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward. Warrior one, come up. Open out, warrior two. Check in with your feet. Add in some space. Check in with your breath, with your thinking mind. Bring your attention to your breath. A big inhale. And a long exhale. Breathe in. And breathe out. Soften your shoulders long through your spine. Palms to the sky. Left hand high. Reverse your warrior. Reach up and go back. Find a place that works for your right hand. You can feel it out. This side can be different than the other side. Take a really big breath in. Exhale. Hands come down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Inhale. Upward dog. Exhale. Downward dog. Left foot steps again. Warrior one. Rise up. And open out, warrior two. Take your left hand high, reverse your warrior. Now side angle, Parsva Konasana. Left elbow on your left leg, your right arm up to the sky. And again, you can slide the bottom hand down. My top arm reaches up, a little bit of leaning back. Not so much that you throw yourself off balance, but you're not collapsing in on yourself. Take your top arm here and lengthen it forward. Whole practice, actually. Noticing that, noticing if you're collapsing in on yourself or if you can allow yourself to be open and receptive. 
And more than that, right, those same qualities off your mat, open and receptive. And take your top arm back up and wrap it around behind your back, half bind or full bind. Imagine if we were all more open and receptive. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. If we all had a little more space for ourselves and if we gave each other a little more space. And take a big breath in and a big breath out. Reach your top arm back up. Let it bring you up to your warrior two. Take your left hand high, reverse your warrior. Now half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Little push off with the back foot. Maybe you step in and then lift off. Left hand reaching down. Your left hand doesn't have to make contact. If you want to play around with it, you can bring that bottom hand up. You can bring it to your heart. But if you want the support, which is nice, find just the right spot for your left hand. Right? So it is supporting you, so you're not hanging on. Now press out through your lifted heel. Right? Long and strong here. A big breath in. Lightly drop back to your warrior two. Take your left hand high reverse. Exhale, hands down to your mat. High push up to low push up. Upward dog. Take a big breath in. Downward dog. Breath out. Take a big inhale. And a full exhale. And breathe in. And breathe out. One more deep inhale here. Exhale. Step or jump to your hands. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Utkatasana. Chair pose. Set your feet. Feet are even. They can be together or apart. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a big inhale and twist to your right. Left elbow towards the outside of your right leg. It might be that your elbow is more between your legs or even above your legs. You can work with that. Right? Give yourself some space. Play around with it and explore. And enjoy. Hands can stay together or open up. Really, all that your body is doing for you, all that you are doing for your whole being, even what we're doing for each other when we show up together like this. Open and receptive. Take a really big inhale, fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. High push up to low push up, exhale. Upward dog, take a big breath in, downward dog, breath out. Left foot steps forward, warrior one, come up. Open out to your warrior two. Straighten your left leg. Lengthen through both legs and come on into your triangle. Reach forward first. Don't rush the transition, really. Lengthen out as you're coming into it. And then you have a little more space when you land in your triangle. Right, this practice on your mat. When you step off your mat, you have a little more space for yourself. And I think most of the time we are more open to giving others space. Big breath in, and a long breath out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Soften your toes, soften your face and your jaw. Take a big inhale, and a big exhale. Here, come on up to stand, drop your hands once more. Pivot your toes towards the side of your mat, feet parallel or pigeon toed. And you can interlace your fingers at your low back again or work with a different variation. Lift on your inhale. And as you exhale, fold forward. So if you want to play around, you can drop your hands, add in a, a crow or a tripod or some movement. I'm a big fan of the shoulder rinse. Take a long breath in. And a long breath out. Once more, deep inhale here, and a big exhale. I'll bring your hands to your mat under your shoulders. Come halfway up. Now pivot back around towards the front edge of your mat. Right toes point forward. Plant your hands. Right foot steps back. High push up to low push up. Upward dog. A big breath in. Downward dog. Breath out. Take a long inhale. And a long exhale. Come on forward to your high push-up, right hand under your right shoulder. Heels to your right side plank, Vashtisthasana. So you can stack or stagger your feet, drop your bottom knee for a little more support. 
extend your top arm forward and lift your top leg. This is where dropping the bottom knee might be a nice adjustment. Take a big inhale, and as you exhale, left elbow, left knee come towards each other. Inhale, extend out, press through the heel. Exhale, squeeze in, belly in and up. Inhale, extend and lengthen. Exhale, squeeze in. One more time, inhale, extend, pause. Hand and foot come down, high push up to low push up, upward dog. A big breath in, really nice to everyone. Downward dog, breath out. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Another deep breath in here, fill up. Exhale, step or jump to your hands. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand, lift and reach. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, low push up, step or jump back. Upward dog, take a full breath in. Downward dog, breath out. Bring your feet together and forward. Extend your right leg up to the sky. High push up, right knee above and outside your right elbow. A little bit of lift, you can drop to the low push up or stick in the arm balance. Up and back, three legged dog. High push up, right knee above and outside your left elbow. So lift and twist, bring that knee forward, strong core. Up and back to your three legged dog, leg lifted. Bend your right knee for your down dog hip opener. And if you want to flip your dog, you can flip your dog here. Take a big inhale, wiggle your toes, then come on into your half pigeon. Right knee comes forward, left leg length is behind you. You can maybe wiggle the right foot over and forward. Check in with your left leg. Even out your hips. Check in with your breath. Even breath. Letting your head land on your mat or prop. And if this variation doesn't work, give yourself some space. You can explore using a prop in this variation or you can simply set up the variation on your back. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. A big inhale. Then a long exhale. Deep breath in, fill up. And a big breath out, empty out. Soften your shoulders, feel if you can soften your face and your jaw. Keep coming back to your breath, keep coming back to this space. Another deep inhale. And a big exhale. Set your hands under your shoulders and make your way back to your downward facing dog. That was more like a, a half pigeon teaser than a full on half pigeon, but I don't want to go too long here. All right, set your feet, bring them a little bit forward and together, take your left leg to the sky. High push up, left knee above and outside your left elbow. Again, the option for the low push up, the arm balance. You can drop the right knee for a little more support. Up and back to your three-legged dog. High push up, left knee above and outside your right elbow. Lift and twist for three, two. Up and back to your three-legged dog. Bend the left knee, down dog, hip opener. That's why a, a full length class is so nice. So get a lot in in these 30 minutes. Come on into your half pigeon. But I like, a, I like a good long half pigeon. Maybe you don't, so maybe that's why you like the 30 minute class. Set yourself up in your half pigeon here, this variation or the variation on your back. Let your spine be long as you come into this. All right, let your head land, whatever variation you're in. Deep breath in. And a long breath out. And breathe in. And empty out. I really feel, feel that you can fill up, but you can also empty out. Enjoy this space. Set your hands under your shoulders. Come up, sweep your back leg forward. Lie on your back, and we'll finish up with a bridge or wheel. 
Set your feet. Lift your hips. Lift your chest. Let your heart lift. Bridge your wheel. Maybe you add in rest. Right, whatever variation you like to round out your practice. Take a long inhale. Then a full exhale. And take a deep breath in. And a big breath out. Check in with your toes. Maybe wiggle them a little bit. Take one more big inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly lower down. Come onto your back. Soles of your feet together. Knees to the sides for Supta Baddha Konasana. Take a really big inhale. Fill up. And go ahead. Empty out. Ha. Ah. And from here, we'll move right into Shavasana. So if you want to take your legs up, right, add a little twist, you can. Once more, a big inhale. And a long exhale. Wiggle your fingers and toes. And draw your knees to your chest. Here you can roll to one side and make your way to seated. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your gaze. Lower your gaze or close your eyes. Together, let's take a big breath in. Then a long breath out. Drawing your thumbs to your forehead, to your third eye center. Together we say, Namaste. Oh. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining me for this Friday Power Flow. I always feel better after I practice. I hope you do, too. And if you enjoyed the practice, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Patreon, where for as little as $5 a month, right, you support this free content, help me in continuing to deliver this free content, but you also get full-length classes, a whole library of classes, and new classes every month, for as little as $5 a month. I'm Heather, and I'm the Vent Yogi. Thanks again for joining me today. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other, and I'll see you soon. Oh.